good morning guys good afternoon guys good evening depending on the time you're watching this with me mm. welcome back to my channel guys and i'll talk with amara again welcome back to the channel this is 2020 i welcome you and this is the first video we are doing for the year welcome to the new year welcome to a year of goodness welcome to a year of good health that's my major wish for you this year if this is the first time you're listening to me i am amara Zodigwe. i'm a registered nurse midwife but i use this platform to share the little that i know with you to share also to clear some questions that i receive in my inbox from facebook and also on whatsapp on those that view my my status so i hope by now you must have made your plans your resolutions the things that you want to achieve in the year and i want to tell you something if of all your resolutions of all everything that you want to achieve of everything that you have in mind to achieve this year guys if you don't put your health you need to go back to that your drawing box to that your vision and put your health number one and when you are putting your health you need to put three, three things into consideration because for you to say that you are healthy we need to con consider three major factors and these three major factors is what is behind the name that i give to my group on facebook and also my podcast which i call the triple head podcast and also the triple head africa facebook group and the name triple was gotten from these major factors that is your environment your you you cannot talk about being healthy without putting into consideration your whole nature your mental state your physical state and every other thing that concerns you and also your whole being as a person now when i talk about your whole being i talk about the environment about nurture then we talk about nutrition nutrition what you eat in fact most of times we are what we eat most of the times you are what we eat when you eat whatever you eat shows in your body some people may claim i don't eat but i'm healthy no 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 no. you are eating something it may not be solid food it may be liquid food it may not be raw food it may be packaged food so whatever you eat has an impact in your health guys so this year i want you to put your health as number one whatever you are doing check yourself take time to rest take time to sleep take time to check your system to check when you are stressed up and also to check how you are reacting to the stress and other things that are coming to your life so what is it that you want to achieve this here have you written it down don't just say you have it in your mind write it down what health goals do you want to achieve you want to be free from stress how do you want to achieve it what are the realistic goals that you've put down to achieve that you want to eat healthy how realistic are your plans you want to be eating fruit every day are you sure you can do that do you always have money in your hand do you even have a place close by where you can buy all this? I think these are the things you need to check. How realistic are your goals? If your goals are not realistic, guys, you may be surprised, but by December of this year, you will still see yourself standing where you were at the beginning of the year. So in order to get the best out of this year and out of your plans, I urge you to make your plans realistic. You can also, you want to slim down this year, you'll be doing sports every day. No, you don't start like that. To be realistic, the first thing you need to do is to tell yourself that at least once in a week, I'm going to do in, indoors exercise, your crunches, your running, your stretches. It's when you start with that one, then you progress from once a week to twice a week to thrice a week or to every day so make your goals realistic health goals need to be realistic and health goals is not that you are praying not to be sick no being sick is not a sign that you're not healthy in fact sickness and not being sick is at the end of the health continuum and before i conclude i have a program that i've already started i started it last week health goals with amara for 2020 the first one we've talked about the first one if you want to know what the first one is check the link below is in the description box so go there guys and check the link click the link and read and also you follow because you have something in stock for people that will be active in this challenge 
hot goes with Amara 2020. Meanwhile, you may be wondering what is written on my shirt. Here on my shirt is written in French. This is C George and Art. Is one this t-shirt was given to me last year, 2019, when I went to the World Council of the Young Catalyst International Young Catalyst Student. The World Council normally comes four years, and the last year's own was held in Nigeria. So I was, inv I was invited to head the medical team. So after that, this is for the program and other things that were given to me. So I like wearing this in case if you want a realistic ghost for your hair, you say see george and act before you act you see before you say or conclude on any the process of judging you put on your guidelines you put on the ways that you, you assess you reassess then you evaluate then action is implementation you're being able to implement just like your goals this year how do you want to implement it is also part of what you're going to look into having said that thank you guys thank you for being part of this in case if you've not subscribed please subscribe and thumb up to this video invite your friends too because we have a lot in stock for you thank you very much